this could be fun. Williams has awakened. Rodney Williams. Inside, Rodney Williams. Oh, follow jam. Rodney Williams, he did it again. Rodney Williams! <laughs> the most huh. electrifying wow. player in the Big Ten, wow. Rodney Williams of Minnesota. And frankly, we cut it a little short because there's a lot more where that came from. He is really something. Gophers will take on Northwestern on Thursday. These two teams split their two games earlier this season. The game in Minneapolis was a rout. Joe Coleman, the freshman, was great. He had 16 points. Julian Welch, 14 points and six rebounds. Minnesota cruised past the Wildcats, winning it by the final of 75 to 52. It was a different story when they played in Evanston. It was a huge game for John Sherna. Got himself going with the steal and the jam. Sherna finished with 18 points in this game. And this three-pointer right here set the all-time scoring record at Northwestern as he passed Billy McKinney. Wildcats won it by 11, 64 to 53. Jimmy, we've talked about how important this tournament is for Northwestern. Definitely need to beat Minnesota. Yeah. Probably need to win a little bit more than that to feel comfortable. How can they get the wins they need? Well, they have to make their opponents feel uncomfortable. They have problems and they struggle against man-to-man uh, when they play man-to-man -man defense against teams that has guys that can put it on the deck. But it's in particular, Minnesota and moving forward, when you extend the 1-3-1 zone like they did against Iowa, now you force teams to operate out of their comfort zone, in particular teams who are not as proficient from the three-point line. But then there's the rotation. You have to have multiple efforts within this 1-3-1 zone to make it very difficult. Then now you can get out and transition, create steals, create opportunities. So this is a formula not just for the Minnesota game, if they happen to get by Minnesota, but moving forward. Multiple hands in the air, closing out under control, forcing teams now to use the shot clock to their disadvantage because they're not getting the kind of shot. Look at the multiple efforts right here by Northwestern. Every time the ball is swung, somebody's there to guard, and then it results into a turnover. So for Northwestern, use the zone as your friend. Do not allow dribble penetration, force teams to beat you over the top. Well, I, I like the 1-3-1 one, one because it bothers teams because they don't see it a lot. The problem for Northwestern, and it's been a problem all year, not just in 1-3-1, one, one, is rebounding. Can you rebound enough out of the 1-3-1? One, one? But I'll tell you one thing about Northwestern. If the, you just have a casual fan here that doesn't have a dog in the fight, they're rooting for Northwestern. <laughs> a lot of people want to see them get to the tournament. You would have to think so. The consensus seems to be that one win would give them a chance right. to get in and two wins would have them feeling very good. Now, remember, Northwestern's never won two games in the Big Ten tournament. In the history of this event, they've never played on Saturday.